No jets overhead, no carrier in sight, only a Mach 5 dart that vanishes off radar before defenders can even curse. That weapon's real. It's called the Precision Strike Missile, and tonight we peel back every layer. Long-range fires once belonged to rockets the size of school buses or bombers burning oceans of fuel. But battlefields changed, satellites watch everything, air defenses swap planes, and rivals build keep-out zones that stretch halfway across the sea. The U.S. Army, yes, the Army, needed a new trick. Hit farther, faster, cheaper, without begging the Air Force for a runway slot. Enter Prism, a slender composite tube that outruns Mach 5, slips into any HIMARS pod, and already owns a U.S. contract ceiling of $4.9 billion to replace the TACOMs over the next decade. In the next quarter hour, we'll break down its engineering, trace its family tree from Desert Storm to 2025 flight tests, and drop you inside a fictional crisis where Prism decides a war before breakfast. Then we'll tackle the hard questions. Arms control fallout, supply chain bottlenecks, and the unnerving race to push range past a thousand kilometers. Ready? Segment one loads in three, two, one. Prism is deceptively simple. A one-piece solid fuel motor wrapped in carbon epoxy. Steering fins clipped flush until they pop at burnout. Less drag, less weight, greater range. Flight in four beats. One, cold launch shock. A gas generator spits the missile clear of its canister. Two, boost, solid propellant lights. The dart hits Mach 5 plus within 10 seconds. Three, mid-course glide. An inertial platform mines attitude while M-code GPS corrects drift. Lose satellites? Fiber optic gyros keep the maths honest for several hundred kilometers. Four, terminal dive, future seekers, dual band RF plus imaging IR, flip the missile nose down, cue in on heat or radar reflections, and crack concrete with a steel penetrator warhead or airburst fragmentation. Pilot's choice. Two prisms now fit where one attackums once rode, doubling a battery's magazine without a single new vehicle. Same truck, twice the bite. Think of replacing your DSLR with a smartphone. Lighter, smarter, upgradable by software. Great tech, big numbers. But missiles don't erupt from spreadsheets. They grow out of history's potholes. Let's rewind. During Desert Storm, Army radar crews hunted scuds with 90s computers and wishful thinking. Attackums gave them a 300-kilometer hammer, but cost a fortune. By 2014, Russia's annexation of Crimea and China's island-building spree shrunk the Pacific for U.S. forces. Airfields sat inside enemy missile rings. Early Pentagon brains LRPF and Deep Strike crashed against budgets. Only when the INF Treaty collapsed in 2019 did Congress greenlight full-range development. 